How to find the phone numbers and email addresses of your first degree connections on LinkedIn. Hi, this is Chris Casalino, the co-founder and head of services at Uptown Creation, a B2B marketing and business development company. So this is going to be a really quick video today where I'm just going through how to get the phone number and email address of people on LinkedIn that you're connected with if they have that information public. And so LinkedIn used to let you download an entire spreadsheet of this information, but you know, after Facebook and all the other social media companies had really big lawsuits and trials about data privacy, that is no longer able to be done. So the only way to find this information is to manually go in and find it. And if you wanted to, you could go in and you know, have somebody either yourself or hire a virtual assistant to go in and get those phone numbers, email addresses, and then the names of the person, the job title, and put that into a spreadsheet if you wanted to use it for other purposes. But the purpose of this video is to show you where that information is located. So what I'm going to be using to find this is the LinkedIn sales navigator. So if you're in the LinkedIn sales navigator, you're going to want to go to all filters and then just relationship as first degree connection. So now from here, if you're trying to find a specific demographic um, and information around a specific demographic, so let's say that you are an insurance agent and you wanna find everybody in a specific um, zip code and the radius around that, then you can put in that zip code. Or let's say that you are a, um, salesperson selling SaaS and your target is, you know, head of technology or chief operating officer or something like that. You can put in that title here to sort your first degree connections. But once you find the people that you want that information around, what you'll do is click into the name and then you'll have the contact information here on the right. And you can see that there's a phone number here, an email address here. I get the website and then there's a bunch of other stuff it looks like like twitter handle address everything like that so i would say about 40 percent of people that you're connected with will have a phone number and about 80 to 90 percent will have an email this is only when you become a first degree connection with somebody and that's why i preach so often that it's so important to send out connection requests each and every day that becomes the bottleneck on LinkedIn. You can only send around 50 to 75 connection requests and every connection really becomes a valuable asset, not only because you can scrape information, but you can start a conversation whenever, as well as that person is always going to be seeing any content that you post and you're able to market to that person for free for life, or at least the life of LinkedIn. So I'll click into another person here you can see another person, I get the phone number, the email address, again, the website, again, the address of the person. I get some other company websites that are probably other ones associated with either a job or a company that they own. And really it's as simple as that. So leveraging the LinkedIn sales navigator to go to the sales navigator profile and then get that information from there. What I'd recommend doing if you wanted to do this at scale is open up a spreadsheet, get the person's first, last name, title, company, location, and then phone number, email address, and then website and LinkedIn profile if you wanted that information as well. That is a really, 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 really valuable list of people, especially if it's very, very targeted. And that's why you're targeting on LinkedIn and the targeting of sending new connection requests to people becomes so important. Because like I said, connection requests are the bottleneck. And as long as you have that targeting on point, you can always come back and send messages later on to that person. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more LinkedIn tips. Connect with me on LinkedIn at Chris Casalino and check out our website at uptowncreation.com.